Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Let's try this again. I just filmed my intro and I did not like how that turned out. This video is going to be all about my non cruelty free collection. I have a small part of my collection that is still not cruelty free. My cruelty free journey, it started like two years ago now. Well, I officially said out loud that I wanted to go cruelty free and that started two years ago. Since then I have been really really good at not buying something that is not cruelty free makeup and skincare wise. I am doing very good on both uh, terms. Most of my skincare is actually cruelty free now so those numbers are not in these. This is only for the makeup part. As I have always done in these videos, I have laid out my products here so I can show you guys what the products are and I have even calculated before I turned on the video or my camera the percentage and how much I have used up since last time I updated you guys and that was in like February last year. So before you guys even knew I was pregnant with baby girl and since then I obviously got her and she is 14 weeks old now. If you want to see what products I have in my collection that is not cruelty cool free and how my percentage is then you should just keep on watching otherwise I have so many other videos you can watch on my channel. As I said last time I did this video and talked about how many items I had in my collection that was not cruelty cool free. That was in February last year and at that point I had 40 items in my collection that was not cruelty cool free and now I'm down to 32. And I think that is a very good jump if you consider that most of these products are blushes and eyeshadows and lipsticks um, and highlighters and stuff like that. Very hard items to go through. So I think that is a pretty good jump. In February last year my percentage was 88.18% and now it's actually gone down a little bit down to 87.69% and that is mostly due to me using up some of these items. I have actually decluttered a few but let's not talk about that. So 8 products have left my non cruelty cool free collection but I have also used up a bunch of stuff that was that was cruelty free. Because I have gotten less products in my collection, the percentage is just going to be lower because I have used up products that was cruelty free and that was non cruelty free. I hope that makes sense. I still think that is a very good number um, for only going cruelty free two years ago. Obviously I'm still going to keep on going using these up in Project Pan etc. I don't think I'm going to do a specific Project Pan like the Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan that I did when I started this journey. Let's start with a category that I only have one in that is non-cruelty free. That is brows. I have this Master Brow Pro Palette from Maybelline. That is a, a wax, a powder and a highlighting shade. I do prefer just the powder and the highlight shade. I do have so many eyeshadows that can be done with that. And highlighters for that matter. I have so much highlighter. I don't need a specific shade in this kind of palette. So yeah, I can be without this. <laughs> For bronzers I have three and they are three different kinds actually. One that is in the original packaging. This is the Bossoir Bronzing Powder. It is in a limited uh, edition packaging. It is the one that smells like chocolate. And it still does. It's so good. And it is a beautiful color. I love this packaging so much and I don't regret buying it. And I'm really sad the Bossoir is not free because that is a really really nice brand and I really want to try their foundations but obviously I can't. <laughs> the Departed bronzer here is the other half of my Wet n Wild highlight and bronzer duo. I used up the highlighting shade and then I departed this and since then it has some damages and I have frightened a little bit of it. I don't have anything to say about that one. That is, It is a beautiful shade but I can't wait to use this up because that pan is just awkward in my C palette. The last bronzer... Are you kidding? It's cracked. It wasn't cracked a few days ago. This is a compact from Bossoir. It was a powder but I used the powder up and then I repressed um, 
a few bronzers together, like Franklin and bronzer. And I really pressed it into here because I thought it was a really nice compact. And I worked on it the entire last year and I had the smallest bit left. I will insert a picture. Um, I have used it since. And apparently it didn't want to travel in my box into this room. Um, so now it's cracked. I have the smallest bit left. Yeah, well, this just motivates me to actually repress it because I thought about that. I really like the shade and when this is done, I have a little bit of the When Wild Bronzer done. I have the Hula Bronzer done. I have a Manica Dao small duo done. One last thing. Some of an Essence Bronzer. Okay, then let's go with blushes. I have like five and a half blush. <laughs> So I guess I only had like two and a half bronzer as well. The two that are really easy to talk about uh, that are in a single compact. The first one is the Benefit California. This one right here. It is a beautiful packaging. I think it is so cool. And the blush itself is also really, really pretty. So yes, this is the deluxe size sample. Deluxe size blush. And I'm really happy that I only got the deluxe size. At least now that I'm not going to buy that again. The other one is my MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Make Your Mind. You have seen this on my channel a few times. I hit pan on it in my Pan in Everything Project Pan and it is rather old so I really need to use that up. But it is a hard shade because it's really really dark. But I'm, I'm doing my best you guys. The next three blushes are Benefit blushes as well. These comes from a holiday palette because I departed them. This is Sugar Bomb. But I do think this is going to be easy to get through yeah, because it is a lighter one. Then we have Dandelion which is also a light pink. I do think that is easy to go through as well. Plus this is getting a little bit older so they are quite powdery and they are takes a little bit to build up so you need a little bit more which is only a good thing while panning. They are really really good either way. So This is Rocketeur that I have in my whole collection for Japan last year. As you can see I have scraped a little bit out of this one because I repressed the rest of Coralista with that little bit um, into this palette right here. So that is everything that I have left of Coralista and that a little bit of Rogatua. I use that every single day and hopefully I can use that up this year because that means I have Coralista done. Let's talk about these two highlighters. These are both from When Wild. I was really sad when When Wild decided to sell in China because that means these are not culture free anymore. The first one is my When Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown My Canopy. Oh my god, I just dropped it. I mostly use it to blend out my highlighter and my blush so they like have a good transition. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I blend out my highlighter and my blush. That is the same. I really do like this. Amanda got me this one plus this highlighter right here. This is also a Mega Glow highlighter. It is the Highlighting Gold Bar. It is absolutely stunning. I haven't used it enough at all. I have five of these eBay lip liners left. I bought a big set of like 10 at some point. Um, so, so far I have used up like half. <laughs> um, so these four are brand new and then we have this small one that I've used uh, half of in a project. These are a little bit drier so they take a little bit longer to go through. Plus they are pencils that need to be sharpened. So I have one that is kind of nude left. Otherwise these are really dark. This is a dark red. Then we have a like purple one and a brown one and like a one in between. Also a kind of red one. Okay, let's take eyeshadows before we take lipsticks. I have one single shadow here. It is from MAC. It is the color Witch. So it is like a cool toned. A single shadow. I have really considered putting this into my brow category in my inventory just because it is an okay brow brow powder tone because it's kind of cool toned. I have had this in so many project pans and I just can't manage to hit pan on it. It is so tightly pressed. So if I use it as a brow powder, maybe I can hit pan on it. Then we have the Maybelline uh, Quad 
in Smoky Eyes. It is called Natural Smokes. I just wrote this into my Pandos eyeshadows and I'm working on the shade number 3. So far I have used it once since, so you can't see any progress, so there's no spoilers there. This is a beautiful cool tone cord. I don't have many cool tones in my collection, so this is a really really nice cord and I'm going to really enjoy using it. I am playing with the thought about a baby panda palette, but I have a few, but I don't think I'm going... I want to pan this like every single day, maybe one shade at a time like I'm doing in Pandos eyeshadows. Two palettes that I have are my Morphe palettes. I have one in 35OM and then 35K. 35K is the most neutral one with a few cool blue tones down here. I really enjoy this palette. This is such a lovely palette. Right now I'm not working on any of them, but all the small stickers are from Mission 100% Culture Free, I think, because I wanted to use every single shade once. I didn't do that before the finale. My 35OM palette. It is the warmer palette and an all matte one. The one before is both matte and shimmers. This is all matte and as you can see I have a lot of pan in this because I had it in my single ladies and my man matte project pan uh, for 2019 the entire year and that is what I managed to do. <laughs> Not very good but I was working on a lot of shadows that year so I don't really blame myself for not getting further. Right now I am working on that shade right there in Pandos eyeshadows so it is getting used and I'm really excited about that to be working on it again because I really do love that palette. Okay then for lipsticks. I have two crayons that are a mixture of a gloss and a lipstick because they are really really smooth and really nice on your lips. You can't really feel them. They are kind of like glosses but they are not sticky and they do hold on your lips uh, like a lipstick. These are the Max Factor Color Elixir Giant Pen Sticks. I have one in Passionate Red and then Subtle Coal. I worked on these in the Graveyard Project Pan. I really enjoyed these a lot but they are so old. My uh, is a lot of lipstick in pink berry. It is a lasting cream pure color and it is such a beautiful lipstick. I love it so much. Like, so much. I have thought about finishing it this year, but it's so sentimental that I almost don't want to do it. I have one MACA lipstick and that is in Brave. It is a satin finish. It is one of my favorite colors as well. Kind of the same color family. I worked on this a lot last year as well. So this is almost done. It is so scratchy because it was in my purse. One lipstick from Max Factor and it is in Scarlet Ghost. It is this beautiful red color. And as you can see, many of my lipsticks are that small <laughs> because I have worked on them before but just didn't manage to finish them, so maybe I can finish them soon. So I have three from Wimmel and three from Maybelline. From Maybelline I have one in the line Color Sensational in Naked Brown. This is a very dark brown color, like a wine red. It scares me if I need to pan this. Yeah, it really scares me. And we have two from the Gigi Headed line. Gigi Hedit is so cool. I really enjoy following her on her Instagram. And this one is called Erin. It is the darker one. My lipsticks are getting these bumps. Can you see those? I don't know if you can. But it is a beautiful color. And this one is called Tara. And it is a more nude one. And obviously that is used more because I had it in a project. <laughs> I have one from this line. I, I never got around to know what this line is called, but it has such beautiful packaging. I think it is really, really nice. It is called Naughty Nude in 700, and I have much more, as you can see. really need to use up my lipsticks because they are getting so old. Two from the Kate Moss line, one in 38 and then one in 37. 37 is this orangey red color. It's such a beautiful shade. I have used it like once. I bought them on sale and then this is 38. It's like a PG nude color. Guys, <laughs> we're done. Those were all my non culture free products in my collection 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching these and let me know if you want to see a specific item uh, panned here in 2021. Of course my camera stopped recording just as I was going to say goodbye. <laughs> if you are new to my channel please subscribe down below. I do a lot of panning videos, empties and stuff like this. Going through my non cruelty free products and trying to use them up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care. Bye!